Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to download and install Canon PIXMA printer drivers, specifically for the PIXMA MX922 series. So it's relatively easy to download drivers through the Canon website, but in this tutorial I want to show you guys how to do it, in case you're unaware or you maybe you're using outdated software, or you were coming across this video and you're trying to hook up this printer and maybe it doesn't come with any media. So you wanted to just make it so your computer recognized the printer, especially if you're using the wireless functionality. This can definitely be a very good step in hopefully being able to restore or enable that ability. So we're going to jump right into it. And I'm going to have a link in the description of the video for this printer driver. But in the event that you do not have this link or the link perhaps is a non-working link, you can always go over to Google, just starting from the beginning here, and if you typed in Canon printer drivers, you hit enter. One of the best results should be for Canon, like a Canon domain. I would highly recommend you get it directly from their site. And depending on where you are in the world, the domain might be a little bit different. And basically, right here, it says enter your model. You want to just enter in your computer model here. So in our case, it's the MX922. But if you had any other printers, you can just type them in right here. And you can see it populates the list underneath. And once you select the one you want, and then you click on the Go button, you'll be redirected to this page. And again, once we're on this page, I'm going to select the Drivers and Downloads button right here. So I would recommend going underneath the Recommended Drivers. If you want to install optional drivers, you can, but that's a separate download. So I'm going to select the recommended one here by clicking on the select button. And then I'm going to select the download button with a red box around it. It's going to ask what you want to do with the file. You want to save it, and depending on what web browser you're using, it might be a little bit different. I'm using Firefox for this tutorial, so just want you all to be aware of that. And then once it's done downloading, it should come up up here, and you can see it's wrapping up. I've already downloaded it once before, so you can see I already have a completed file here. So I'm going to use the one I already downloaded before I begin this video. It's going to ask you want to allow this app to make changes to your device. You want to select yes. I'm going to close out or minimize out of the web browser. You're going to have to select the next button here. You want to select your place of residence. Select yes. Basically just what region you're located in. And then select yes again. Now you want to enter what kind of connection you're going to be using. Since I don't actually have this printer connected to my computer, I'm not going to really be able to get too specific with you guys, but it should be pretty straightforward if you read these directions here. The first one, if you're using and planning on a wireless connection, you want to select the first option here. If you want to use a USB port, you want to use the last option here. And the middle option is probably going to be the most rare option in my opinion, and that would be to use using a wired LAN connection. So just keep that in mind. It will be a little bit different and it will set up how your connection is going to go from here on out, even though you can change it at a different point or a different juncture in time. So since most people are going to be using a wireless printer, I'm going to select the top option here. Select yes. And then, like I said, it's going to begin searching for printers. And then you would just follow along with the on-screen instructions from there. However, if you're using USB, we're still allowed to continue using that option. So I'm going to just check Mark Sub Network Connection via USB here. Select Next. And then you would just follow along, like I said, with the instructions on the screen. Just make sure you turn on and off the printer whenever it asks you to. And then I would highly recommend that you do restart your computer after this. 
and if it still does not work I'd recommend trying to install it one more time and perhaps uninstall the printer software if it's already on your computer maybe you had a previous installation that was corrupted and you would basically just go underneath the star menu at that point type in printer and best manage printers and scanners underneath system settings this will look a little bit different if you are running an older version of Windows 10 or Windows 7 and Windows 8 so we're honestly in the minority here but there should be a bunch of printers listed here in devices and you would just select the printer and then remove the device or in an earlier version of Windows 10 or Windows 7 or Windows 8 you would just right click on it and then select uninstall driver or uninstall software so I don't really need to visualize that for everybody else it's pretty straightforward just go underneath printers and drivers on the star menu and like I said it should be a pretty straightforward process I know this, this is much better in recognizing printer software than if you were attempting to just go and wing it on your own and it's very nice that the computer or printer manufacturers offer these tools and for the most part they actually do work pretty well so I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out and as always thank you for watching and I look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial goodbye